The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Shop Community Day November 15th to support local nonprofit groups by purchasing a $5 coupon booklet. Each booklet contains valuable coupons to use at Boston Store. Buy, pick, and save. Proud sponsor of the Preps Plus highlights. Time Warner Cable. Order the all the best package, three great services on one simple bill at one low price. By Frederick, the Medical College of Wisconsin. For the smart choice, it's academic. By Lackey and Joys, Milwaukee's premier outdoor retailer with three locations, downtown Milwaukee, Brookfield, and Mequon. And by Realty Executive, where the experts are. Franklin High School is home of the Sabres and our high-flying feature student athlete. Hi, I'm your host, Gary Howard, and welcome to Preps Plus, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's high school sports show. The first two rounds of the state football playoffs are already over, but we've got exciting highlights from round two on the way. The boys' volleyball playoffs are underway, too, and the Sabres are led by one cool customer on the court. You won't see Nate Bonds wearing a leather jacket when he competes, and there will likely never be a life-size statue of Nate created. But this Bonds is clearly a primetime player, and his work has created some happy days for the Franklin volleyball team. After seeing all the teams in the conference, he's, I wouldn't want to say head and shoulders, but he's definitely the best player, the best, the most complete player. He plays defense, he hits around the block, he hits smart, he tips when he needs to tip, he serves well, uh, and he listens. From a volleyball standpoint, I hear a lot of that, how he may, he's, not, he's not the biggest or the strongest, but he definitely plays up there with everyone. Nate is not that tall, and he claims he's not that great of a leaper, although he's worked at getting up higher. He calls himself a hustle guy who uses his head. I'm not going to hit over a lot of blockers. I'm not going to get a ton of blocks, but I will. Uh, I'm a smarter player rather than a stronger player, I guess. He's very intelligent. Um, really can see the block well and swing around it. Um, he usually gets faced triple blocks every single time, and uh, we play someone. He really swings around it and just a smart player. Smart player, smart kid. Nate carries an excellent grade point average and challenging courses. He's strong in math, but he really enjoys science. In some classes, you kind of read out a textbook, and you're kind of just getting all the information like given to you. Or in science, you go and you're exploring stuff. You're doing labs, you're doing experiments, and you kind of learn for yourself. Nate's coaches say if he makes a mistake, he learns from it. He's always focused, so opponents won't catch him napping during a match. Before a match, well, that's another story. Every day after school, before I uh, have a volleyball match, I'll go take a nap, actually. I'll go sleep for 30, 35 minutes just to kind of chill and relax. because you kind of pumped up during the day because I know I have a volleyball match coming up and uh, so it helps me to relax and uh, just chill out and think about what I actually have to do. So on game days there's quiet time then Nate cranks it up. Woo! I like to listen to very loud music on the way to a volleyball match like when we're driving there and very loud. Oh and there's one other thing Fonz might do before a match. I remember last year we were on a road trip and uh, he was able to uh, complete and finish a Rubik's Cube in five minutes, which I thought was pretty impressive. To be clear, Nate's last name is spelled F-O-N-S, not F-O-N-Z, as in Arthur Fonzarelli. Nate had never even seen Happy Days before people started calling out Fonz references during matches. Now he likes to hear those cheers when the Fonz does something cool for Franklin. Everybody always says it's a great last name and everything, and they always do that A cheer and everything. So yeah, oh, definitely. Hey! We wish Nate the best of luck the rest of his senior year, both in school and in sports. Here's teammate and younger brother, Stephen Fawns, presenting our feature student athlete plaque, courtesy of Boston Store. It's the perfect deal, because all you need is one card. Save an extra 20% when you use your Boston Store card during our customer appreciation sale, now through Sunday. Boston Store. When you use your Boston Store card, you're earning points toward an all-day Your Reward shopping pass with virtually no exclusions. Come in right now and earn points three times as fast. Boston Store.
What does it take to combat the various forms of cancer? Our patients know. It takes specialists that focus on specific cancer types. It takes an academic medical center like Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin. Less than 2% of America's hospitals are academic medical centers. They're rare, which is why our patients know we're the smart choice for cancer care. Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin. For the smart choice in cancer care, it's academic. Every Roundy's product is approved for quality and signed by Chairman Bob himself. Approved. Roundy's, exclusively at Pick and Save. Thank you. WIAA football playoffs. It's time now to see how a couple of local squads made it through to the state quarterfinals. Let's rock and roll the pick and save action reel. The defending Division III state champion Wisconsin Lutheran put its perfect record on the line against once beaten Catholic Memorial. CMH takes the lead on a first quarter field goal, but Wisco gives itself great field position on the ensuing kickoff. It's Tim Filter up the middle, 50 yards on the return. Then the Vikings go to the air. John Klein lofts it far side, and Corey Henney hauls it in inside the 10. B.J. Webb would finish the drive with a touchdown run, 7-3 Wisco. It was a beautiful day for a walk in the park. Andy James could have taken the dog along for this 16-yard stroll, 10-7 Crusaders. Wisco's Tim Filter was getting his exercise too. This is a little bit more strenuous. He makes the grab and then pushes the defender backwards to add to that game. Moments later, John Klein looks for Quentin Goins in the corner. He's got it at the one yard line. Klein would sneak it in to put the Vikings back on top. Third quarter, here's Frank Spath running through a huge hole. He'll take a shot at the goal line, but he is in. The lead is now 21-10. For good measure, the Vikings add one more. B.J. Webb reaches the end zone for the second time. Wisconsin Lutheran improves to 11-0, winning 28-10. Catholic Memorial's season ends with a record of 9-2. The Greendale Panthers were set to burst through to the next round, only that's a permanent banner, not some flimsy paper thing. Second quarter, Jordan Biller bursts through from four yards out. That's Biller's second touchdown of the game. Panthers lead Pewaukee 14-0. The Pirates get right back in it. Patrick Bacon fires to 6'5", 220-pound Ben Landry. And if this guy was coming towards me, I'd take cover too. Andrew Kistner makes a block to help Landry get down near the 10-yard line. That set up a Derek Watt touchdown run. Patrick Bacon was sizzling for the Pirates. Here he connects with Andrew Kistner. Pewaukee leads 21-14 in the third. Two lefty QBs in the same game? Somebody called Jim Zorn. Here's Chris Ridgway firing. A.J. Coley gets a hand on it, and it lands in the hands of Ben Erickson. 21 apiece. The aerial assault continues when Chris Ridgway launches this one into the jet stream. Andrew Breeze, appropriately, scores the 46-yard touchdown. 28-21 Panthers. Pewaukee again strikes back. This pass appears to be intercepted, but Brian Spakowitz rips it away from the defender. 28 apiece in the fourth. Let's give the quarterback's arm a little break now. Jordan Biller takes the pitch and tallies his third touchdown of the night. Greendale is back on top. Now the Panthers may run, but they won't run out the clock. Chris Ridgway and Ben Erickson hook up again, this time 84 yards to put the game away. Greendale wins at 42-28. Coach Rob Stoltz and the Panthers move on to face Wisconsin Lutheran in the D3 quarterfinals. You want more big time playoff action? You've got it. It's time now for the Time Warner Cable Big Game.
How smooth has the ride been for Hartford this season? Well, the Orioles only had one bump in the road. That came against Wisconsin Lutheran. But Kendall Moraine, which has had a little bit rockier road on the way here, also was intent on getting to round three of the playoffs. Kettle Moraine's defense has struggled at times, but passes this test. On fourth and goal, Kerwin McKay intercepts the pass to end Hartford's first drive. First play of the second quarter, Oriole QB Jordan Stevens gets a solid block and then lunges over the goal line for the first score of the game. The Lasers respond. Watch the two defenders collide as they go after Mike Butterfield's pass. That allows Patrick Levenhagen to haul it in. Levenhagen goes 83 yards to map the score at seven. Next possession, Butterfield finds Tom Wensler over the middle. Wensler heads for the sideline, outruns him and him, breaks his tackle and outruns him. Lasers take a 14-7 lead. The Hartford fans who brought these wheels went to warm up at halftime, then saw their team come out hot in the second half. Here's Jordan Stevens dropping back to pass and finding Austin Krieger, who makes his own little spin move to cap a 31-yard game. Two plays later, here comes Jordan Stevens. He'll put on a move or two, and he's running downhill. 28 yards to tie the game at 14. First play of the fourth quarter now. Butterfield's pass is tipped by Nicholas Malinowski, then intercepted by Dustin Wilcox. He'll head back the other direction. It's a big opportunity for Hartford. And the Orioles cash it in. Jordan Stevens goes up top to Joseph Worth. That's worth six for the sophomore receiver. 21-14 Orioles. Next possession for Hartford, let's look out for number one. Austin Krieger somehow slips through the line. Krieger gives the Lasers nightmares on the night after Halloween. 70 yards, and it's a 28-14 game. Kettle Moraine closes the gap to seven, but Hartford gets another long TD, this one by Stevens. Hartford coach Dan Brunner says his team wore down the Lasers, who had more guys playing both offense and defense. The Orioles win 35-21, improving to 10-1 and, and advancing to face defending state champion Arrowhead in the third round. Second half, we knew we had to come out, find our rhythm, just play hard for football, just pound the ball, run the ball, and that's what we did the second half. So we just came out, tried to be physical, tried to overpower them, you know, try to counteract their speed, and uh, we did a pretty good job of it in the third and fourth quarter. The state football championships are set for the weekend of Thanksgiving. Round three of the playoffs begins this weekend. If you want to find out when and where your team plays, just check out the Preps Plus website at jsonline.com. And while you're there, check out all the past episodes of Preps Plus, your favorite high school sports show. Preps Plus, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's high school sports show, will be right back. Okay, so here's a quick game. Think of your favorite TV show. Now, think about how much you love it. Now, think about how cool it would be if you could watch your show anytime you wanted. That's exactly what happens when you switch to digital cable from Time Warner Cable. It's the easiest way to see the very best in home entertainment. And with video on demand, you can see shows on your schedule. Call today and get it all for a winning price. You've never seen your favorite show quite like this. Time Warner Cable, the power of you. At Lackey & Joy's, we're committed to providing you the best in style, selection, and service. Our casual living store has well-designed furniture that is both classic and sensitive to lasting trends. We invite you to visit our expanded selection of outdoor and three and four season room furniture at our casual living store adjacent to our Lackey & Joy store in Brookfield. Customize your living space with quality furniture from Lackey & Joy. Lackey & Joy, when nature calls you outdoors. It's the perfect deal because all you need is one car. Save an extra 20% when you use your Boston Store card during our customer appreciation sale. Now through Sunday. Boston Store. When you use your Boston Store card, you're earning points toward an all-day Your Reward shopping pass with virtually no exclusions. Come in right now and earn points three times as fast. Boston Store. Chairman. Approved. Every Roundy's product is approved for quality and signed by Chairman Bob himself. Approved. Roundy's, exclusively at Pick and Save. Thank you.
The guys from Shorewood High School qualified for the state cross country meet once again, but the Greyhounds had to compete without last year's individual state champion. Brad Preda, my main man, has that story in this week's Press Pass. Shorewood's runners gather by the school's old bowling lanes before heading out for their workout each day. All season, the guys have had to roll without their cross-country kingpin. A year ago, Kevin McCullough sprinted to victory in the Division II race at the state meet. This fall, though, Kevin hasn't been able to race due to health reasons. He has been running with the team occasionally and supporting the guys however he can. But breathing problems, the cause of which hasn't been pinpointed yet, have prevented Kevin from going full speed. I guess it's just a bizarre sensation when you're on the bus and you feel like you should be a part of that anticipation of those butterflies in your stomach and it's just entirely absent. I mean, that kind of hits you hard. The loss hit the team hard as well, changing the outlook of a perennial state power. Going into the season, teams kind of counted us out as being able to make it to the state meet and uh, we uh, rose above and really put it together as a team. Losing your top runner, that's a tough blow for any cross country team, much less losing a state champion. Now, it may have slowed the Sorewood guys down a little bit, but it didn't stop them from another trip to state. The Greyhounds didn't win any meets this fall until conference. They followed that up by taking second in their sectional to earn the team a berth at state for the 10th straight year. And we were in the hardest sectional in the state, so it just seemed um, like it was going to be difficult, and we really rose to the occasion and got it done. The time off from competing has given Kevin some time to reflect on things in life, and it's also provided opportunities for other runners, like senior Sam Dupuy, who got to race at state for the first time. I'm grateful for that, but on the other hand, um, I feel bad for Kevin because um, he's missing an opportunity to defend his individual title. Guys like Ben Tyler and Peter Drews have picked up the pace in McCullough's absence. Everyone on this young team hopes Kevin can get back to racing next spring in track and next fall in cross country. Ben Tyler, who has really been the leader this year, but I can also kind of just be a incidental or secondary leader to him and kind of just show the guys the ropes, I guess. Throughout his whole high school career thus far, he's uh, had to deal with a lot of injuries, so I really feel for him. He's uh, struggled a lot with injuries and pushed through it. You've already heard from a boys volleyball standout here at Franklin. Now it's time to meet one of the state's top teams, which also competes in the same conference as the Sabres. It's time now for the Realty Executives Team of the Week. For the first time in a decade, the Racine Horlick boys volleyball team could lay claim to an outright conference championship, finishing the Southeast schedule at 9-0. It was kind of expected of us because we, we got so close last year, and uh, we were returning a lot, of, a lot of seniors this year, so I mean, it's the last year, I mean, you might as well go all out. It's a huge thing. Uh, the past few years, we've uh, been really close to winning conference, going undefeated mainly, and uh, we just lose it just, you know, by this much. But, you know, as a senior, it's, uh, it's really nice to come up big and do the work that we're supposed to. The Rebels entered last week at 8-0 in league play and took on fellow undefeated Burlington for the crown. After splitting the first two games, game five decided everything, and the moments during and after were truly memorable. The fifth game was intense. Um, everybody's emotions were, uh, were out on the court. It was kind of a shocker because, you know, we, we going into that fifth game, we didn't have momentum because uh, we had lost the last two games. Um, but we found it inside of us to uh, pull it out and get the victory. And then the crowd just went, they went on the court. It was just crazy. And that night, I was up to like 12:31 just because I was so excited. Orlick begins play in the tourney at 25 and 4 overall and appears to have the size and strength to hang with anyone, especially if they can control the net. We put up a huge block, like really big. We have a lot of huge people out there, so it's hard to hit around it. So we just put the gaps in and you just got to play really smart. Carol Sawatsky with Realty Executives Elite presents yep. our Team of the Week plaque. Yep. Yep.
What does it take to become a leader in the treatment of neurological disorders? Our patients know. It takes the nation's leading specialists and a state-of-the-art neurosciences center. It takes an academic medical center like Freydert and the Medical College of Wisconsin. Less than 2% of America's hospitals are academic medical centers. They're rare, which is why our patients know we're the smart choice for neurological care. Freydert and the Medical College of Wisconsin. For the smart choice, it's academic. Wow, this is one good-looking TV. Clearly, you take your TV viewing seriously. So why not watch in serious style by getting HD service with digital cable from Time Warner Cable. You get programs in HD for free. Satellite wants to charge you over $100 a year for HD programming. Instead, see the shows you want at a price you'll love. Upgrade to digital cable or HD TV. Call Time Warner Cable today. You've got the great TV. Now get the great HD service it deserves. Time Warner Cable, the power of you. It's the perfect deal, because all you need is one card. Save an extra 20% when you use your Boston Store card during our customer appreciation sale, now through Sunday. Boston Store. When you use your Boston Store card, you're earning points toward an all-day Your Reward shopping pass with virtually no exclusions. Come in right now and earn points three times as fast. Boston Store. At Lackey & Joy's, we're committed to providing you the best in style, selection, and service. Our casual living store has well-designed furniture that is both classic and sensitive to lasting trends. We invite you to visit our expanded selection of outdoor and three- and four-season room furniture at our casual living store adjacent to our Lackey & Joy store in Brookfield. Customize your living space with quality furniture from Lackey & Joy's. Lackey & Joy's, when nature calls you outdoors. Did you know that endurance training is different than just running? Hello, I'm Kimberly Kane. Joining us now is Carrie Trubenbach. She is a physical therapist here at the Sports Medicine Center and a program coordinator. Carrie, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Let's talk about the difference then between endurance training and just going out for a jog. Well, endurance training is a little more scientific approach to improving one's overall fitness level. And, and how is that really benefiting the athlete and their performance? By in increasing or enhancing someone's overall endurance, it increases their ability to tolerate either higher intensity exercise or longer periods of exercise. Any particular athletes or in certain sports that benefit most from this? Athletes such as runners, cyclists, triathletes certainly benefits them, but really any athletes where endurance is a key component of their sport, for example, soccer players. Carrie, thank you. Thank you. If you'd like to learn more about the Endurance Performance Enhancement Program at the Sports Medicine Center at Freydert and the Medical College, go online at freydert.com slash sports. Grafton is home to one of the top girls swim programs in the state, and their diving team is a strong component. Super smooth Tim Muma checks in with the Blackhawks to see what makes a high-scoring dive. Get ready for the Lackey and Joy Spotlight. The majority of sports fans in the U.S. have yet to get a firm grasp on competitive diving, mainly because few have actually tried it. But for those who train daily, they have a feel for what constitutes a winning dive even before they see the score. You kind of know when you hit the water, but you don't really know, like, how good it was. Like, you can feel if it's, like, a good dive or, like, how you hit the board. Like, if you have a good board ride and, like, you're high. I would have to say when I hit the water because it could feel good in the air, but if you go over or short, then it's just ruined pretty much. While cutting through the water is the last challenge, the takeoff from the board is often where the dive sinks or swims. You stomp it and it's awkward then and you don't get the bounce and so you go farther out or you don't go as high and then everything's just screwed up from there pretty much. Because of its aesthetic nature, even the general observer can recognize the tremendously grotesque or tremendously beautiful dives. Of course, if you really want to understand what these athletes are judged on on a daily basis, you need to dive a little bit deeper. Crafting coach Dennis Hubert, in his 28th year at the helm, knows a thing or two about diving. 
In diving, you want to make the uh, harder dives look easy. Uh, if you make it look effortless, it scores a lot better. Diving, you're looking at the board work, um, how high the diver gets, the uh, position in the air then, and then the entry. Obviously, you want to be vertical to the water and have no splash. Each diver, however, is different. Some, like McGilligan, attempt more difficult dives where it may not look the best, but the skill level raises the score. Then there are the finesse efforts. There's always those divers that have like the really pretty, like easy dives, like they go in nice and straight, and like it's all like really pretty and it's just like gorgeous. But like they don't do really, really hard dives to get really high points. Of course, scoring is determined by judges. So even though there's a set criteria, each evaluator has their own interpretation of the dive, and that can cause some frustrating moments. I didn't know it was like as bad when I came up there, like failed dive, and I was like, what? And I, I. I didn't think I failed it, but when I came up, like, they said failed dive, and I thought it was okay, and I, like, kind of freaked out, and I was like, oh. Hubert acknowledges that overall, the judges, who are coaches on the various teams, do a nice job, but some stay in the safe range of four to five and a half points, something to keep an eye on at state, because a touchdown is always worth six points, but a diver's score has variables. And sometimes the meets do get carried away, and some, some of the, good, the better divers are, aren't scoring what they should all the time. That's a wrap for this week's edition of Preps Plus, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's high school sports show. Please be sure to join us again next Sunday because we'll have all the highlights from round three of the state football playoffs. Preps Plus, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel sports show, will be right back at you next week. Be sure to be here. Until then, I'm Gary Howard. Peace. <laughs> The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Shop Community Day November 15th to support local nonprofit groups by purchasing a $5 coupon booklet. Each booklet contains valuable coupons to use at Boston Store. Buy, pick, and save. Proud sponsor of the Preps Plus highlights. Time Warner Cable. Order the all the best package, three great services on one simple bill at one low price. Buy Frederick from the Medical College of Wisconsin. For the smart choice, it's academic. Buy Lackey and Joys, Milwaukee's premier outdoor retailer with three locations, downtown Milwaukee, Brookfield, and Mequon. And by Realty Executives, where the experts are.